Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 3rd, 2020. This week, a simple method for embossing brushes in Photoshop. For several weeks, we've been bringing you our series of fresh approaches to using brushes like Katie Pratit's beautiful Ledger Journalers. We've shown how versatile digital brushes and stamps can be when you apply simple techniques and effects. In this week's tip, we'll show you how to change up the look of a ledger journaler by digitally embossing it using the tools available in the full version of Photoshop. It's easier than ever to get this effect, which causes the paper to look raised in the shape of the brush. You can still fill in the boxes of the journaler using the type tool, but instead of printed lines, the lines will have the appearance of being part of the paper. Here's how. The brushes at Designer Digitals are delivered as both PNG images and ABR brush files for loading into Photoshop or Elements. To follow along with this tip, open up a PNG Word Art image. For the sample, I'm using Katie Pertit's Ledger Journaler sets. Also open a piece of digital cardstock in Photoshop. For the sample, I'm using a piece of paper from Katie Pertit's Farmhouse Christmas set. Get the Move tool, which is the first tool in the tool bin, and drag the brush on top of the paper. It's easier if you drag either from the Layers panel or from a black part, a non-transparent part of the image. Now I'm going to minimize the brush so that you can just see the document that we're working on. With the brush layer selected, reduce the fill to 0%. It's set to 100% by default, and it's found right above the layers panel. Just drag that slider all the way down to 0. This causes the stamp image to disappear, but don't be alarmed. This step is really key to getting the right look. Now you'll use layer styles to create the embossed effect. So target the brush image in the layers panel. Double click the layer outside of the layer title to activate the layer styles dialog. If you click on the layer name, it creates a box to allow you to rename that layer. So make sure that you're clicking outside of the name box to bring up this layer styles dialog. When the Styles box populates, tick Bevel and Emboss. And then select the Bevel and Emboss tab. For the sample, the following settings worked well. This will give you a starting point, but remember that you can tweak or change any of these settings to fit your paper and your stamp. Under the Style, choose Emboss. For the technique, I chose Smooth with a depth of 80% and the direction set to up. For the size and the soften, I changed both of them to three pixels. For shading, I used 90 degrees for the angle and 30 degrees for the altitude. For the gloss contour, I chose the first one, which was a diagonal line here with white at the top and gray at the bottom. Under highlight mode, I chose screen, white, 50% and for shadow mode I chose multiply black also at 50%. Make sure that preview is ticked over here under the OK and cancel a new style so that you can see your choices appearing on your working document. Tweak the settings to achieve the look you want and when you're happy Click OK to close out of the Styles box. Remember you can revisit the styles anytime by double clicking on this FX icon on the right side of the layer. Using this quick tip, you can give your brush sets a whole new look and feel. It's a great way to change up the design of your journaling from time to time. Thanks so much for watching this week's video and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digitals tip.